Hey guys, this is Tom with The Verge, and we are looking at xCloud running in the browser on a Windows PC. So this is Xbox Cloud Gaming, that's the official name for it. But basically it's xCloud running on a Windows PC. Um, so now this is in beta at the moment, so you will need an invite to get to it. It's available at xbox.com forward slash play. You'll also need Xbox Game Pass Ultimate as well, um, but Microsoft will need to invite you. So we don't know exactly when it's gonna roll out broadly just yet, but I'm gonna give you sort of a really brief overview and quick look at just how it works. So much like Stadia, you get like a launch panel for all your different games. Um, you can jump back in on the games that we've got here that I've obviously recently been playing. Unlike Stadia, there's actually a search function. So I can finally go and actually search for games. So I can go in and uh, you know find the games that I want to launch, usual sort of stuff. Um, I will launch Ori and show you how it'll work. So it's basically, if you're used to seeing it on the Android side of things, it's basically the same thing. Um, so it starts with setting up your stream. It will load you into the session. Um, it may take a little bit of time to actually load you into a game because it's still using those Xbox One S, so the old sort of previous generation consoles in these data centers that, that Microsoft's using here. Um, so that does impact load times um, because obviously you don't have like the modern CPU that you find in the Xbox Series X and obviously the SSD, which is like the most key thing. Um, Microsoft is going to be upgrading these Xbox, um, uh, sorry, X Cloud servers um, some point this year, hopefully, um, to sort of Series X hardware. But for now, you're kind of stuck on this one S experience. That does mean that, you know, you get compatibility with every Xbox One game. Um, and obviously some of the older Xbox 360 and original Xbox games, basically anything that's on Xbox Game Pass will stream here. Um, so I'm waiting for Ori to load right now, but you'll notice that I'm actually in this experience now. So I can go full screen if I like. Um, that will launch me into the entire um, experience here. I'll just wait for it to fully load. Now I can actually use the Xbox button on my controller and what that'll do is it'll just it basically gives you a really basic dashboard here so I can start a party I click at invitations achievements um, or just like go in and sort of um, chat to friends and stuff so all the sort of stuff you kind of expect from an Xbox running in the cloud I guess um, so now we are loading into Ori now so you notice that did take some time to actually load up because of these older sort of 1s servers so um, we'll go in at the moment the stream is limited to 720p. Uh, now Microsoft is going to update that to 1080p um, at some point. They're testing that at the moment, but streaming at the moment is 720p, much like it is on Android. Now, um, I want to talk about the sort of latency. Um, I've been testing this for a few hours now. I've been testing it across an iPhone um, and across a web browser, um, and I've noticed some latency issues, but Microsoft has been working on them. I think it's just... Um, the the fact that it's just launched a few hours ago and it's still beta um and it's definitely been improving the more that i've been using it um it was a little bit rough for the first hour and i was streaming on twitch and it was a little bit rough but like i'm jumping around now and it feels pretty good um it feels like i'm playing on an xbox console like it's difficult i think if you're used to um the latency of playing on a controller or on a console anyway i think it'd be difficult to really notice um the latency here is, is is pretty impressive so um, I am playing on a one gig up and down connection so it's probably like the best connection you could possibly use with this sort of service um, and I am wired in so I'm wired on a browser right now um, but yeah this this is it I mean there's not much else to, to really show you here um, the web interface is pretty clean I will come out and quit game I'll stay in this sort of full screen mode. Um, you can see I can actually navigate around with the controller um, and launch games. So I could go into let's see if thieves and that would obviously launch the game. I'll go back there. Um, but yeah, it's a really clean interface. Um, I think like this will obviously arrive in some form on the Xbox as well. At some point, I, I would imagine it would be like xCloud games. You like play as a demo um before you're like downloading a game in the background. So like imagine those day one releases where you're really desperate to play a game. And you can just stream it instantly whilst you wait for it to download for like, you know, however your fast your internet connection is. I think that's really where it makes sense on Xbox itself. As for this sort of web interface, um, 
I think this is going to be pretty great, like across TVs, phones, tablets, um, PCs and a browser, all that sort of stuff, just to bring your Xbox Game Pass subscription just basically to anywhere. And obviously it now supports the iPhone. Um, I've been testing that out. The, the interface scales much like it does here. Um, and it just scales down. You can use a controller. Um, you can even use touch controls on the iPhone. So it's really getting super interesting what Microsoft's doing here. Um, and I look forward to seeing more. This is just a, a real quick look um, and an early sort of look at the beta, really. Um, we'll, we'll probably be reviewing this fully once it's fully available. But I thought I'd give you a quick look at xCloud running or Xbox Cloud Gaming. I think that's what it's officially called. Running in a browser on a Windows PC. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe on this video and check out um, theverge.com. We've got a big sort of hands-on um, article about this um, with a lot more details, so go and check that out as well. Thank you.